Hello everybody, we are Alba, Nacho and Pablo and this is part of a work for our university. We are studying Geomatic and Topographic Engineer in Leon's University and this work concerns particularly to our remote sensing subject. Introduction Recently Deforestation is one of the principal problems in our forests. We know that so many trees have been cut due to human activities. However, deforestation is not the only one we have studied about. Afforestation is another topic so large and important for us. In short, we are here to explain to you what had happened in El Bierzo forest during the last two decades. To study that, we have used remote sensing techniques, such as classification and change detection algorithms, which will be explained later. All of us know the importance of tree cuts and all of us know that nowadays it's a common activity in our forest. But does we know how it had affected to El Bierzo? Goals As we have said before, deforestation is a common topic today, but we want to evaluate and estimate that vegetation changed particularly for El Bierzo region. After that, our aim is to produce cartography which shows that change. A secondary goal is to discover which techniques are better for each topic and moreover evaluate the suitability of the vegetation index chosen for work. Material and methods. Study area. We have focused our work in El Bierzo. This region is located at northwest of Spain. It has about 3,168 square kilometers. Satellite imagery. We have used two Landsat images. The first one is for the 19th of June 1999. For that day, we have mosaicing two images, one with path row 203.30 and the other one 203.31. We did the same with the second date image, which is for the 21st of June of 2010. After mosaicing images, we correct them radiometrically and also we calculate, calculate NGBI index for both. As we want to focus on El Bierzo, we clip our mosaics with the region contour. Other materials. We have also used coronal cover and orthophotographs to locate our training areas. Classification. At first, we choose two classification algorithms, which were Neuranet and Maximum Latin. This classification were calculated based on the feature space, which consists of automatic Landsat bands and, in addition, the NDBI. For that process, the training areas were chosen according to the rules defined for this. Validation. Once again, we produce ground truth validation points following the stratified random sampling. To help us, we have used orthophotographs to increase the accuracy. After that, we calculate the different accuracies, user and producer, and of course the kappa statistics but of each classification. Once there, we have the confusion matrix and with this information, we could choose the most appropriate classification algorithm for this project. Change detection. We chose a change detection algorithm 
Post classification one. It works subtracting information from one image to the other. The next step was body dates, the change detection. And so we got again the difference accuracies and kappas. Results and discussion. Now we can see the results. They consist on two thematic maps. The first one contains information only about chains and not chains about deforestation. To interpret that map, we add a legend explaining the color's meaning. As we can see, the red color exemplifies deforestation change. The second map is similar to the first one, but in this case, it's more complete. Due to the fact that, you, that we can see the kind of change, I mean, we are able to know into which class are now the pixels classified. Finally, we attach two charts with the different values corresponding to affect areas by chains. On the first one, we can see zones which were forest on 1989 and on 2010 they aren't. On the second one, we can appreciate just the opposite. Areas we weren't forest on 1988 and on 2010 they are. Conclusions. To sum up, we have obtained a little decrease of the forest cover throughout the study area. From our point of view, that change are logical due to several causes which are going to be explained. The, princip the principal reason of that decrease are fires. Both, in dust or not, are highly dangerous for our forest. The second reason is the infrastructure boom, which includes new roads or city growing. Beards of wines have increased their prestige and so their binder size. On the other hand, Castilla y Leon administration has run different afforestation plans which make that, that, that this lack slow down. And that's all. Thank you for your attention.